Um, hi, everyone. I know it's the afternoon where you are. Um, this is Judy Steinman. I don't know if you need to see me. I, well, I'll share my video, but I don't know if you actually need to see me or not. Um, I got a bunch of emails yesterday. I tried to respond to as many of them as I could. I didn't get the recording, and Aiden, I've got to give you a lot of credit for getting the recording to me, um, what I think was uh, like one, one in the morning for you. Um, but I did get to listen to the recording um, this morning. And I understand all the frustrations. Um, I think that I'm probably the cause of many of them. Um, we've had a number of uh, shifts in requirements from administration to um, in order for Alliant to receive their um, accreditation from WASC, which is the Western Association of Schools and Colleges. And I think there's a U at the end of that at this point as well as many requirements for APA, um, we've had to shift in the way we are providing the material to you. And so I wanted to just talk about that first because I know that's a big issue for a lot of you. I'm not quite sure why um, the scheduling surprises folks because I'm pretty sure that these scheduling issues with when we can offer classes, live classes is the same as it was for um, your first year, at least? No, no it's not. Okay. So, um, and so, wait, wait, wait. Just for the record, can you identify who's speaking so that I can um, know who yeah, I'm talking to? Yeah, this is uh, Eddie Waldrop. So, when I first started classes, we met one weekend, we had the next weekend was off, and we met the next weekend, and the next weekend was off. Uh, that's, that's the way it was when I started. The well, the schedule. Had, I agree with that. Um, never were there four out of five weekends and then five out of six weekends and are back to back. Okay. So let me. Um, one more thing before even starting the program, I investigated, spoke to representatives, and I was told it was going to be every third weekend because I have a very busy work schedule. I would not even have joined the program had it been every week. So we learned the material one weekend. I cannot even study it until there's a weekend off. And I understand that may be unique to me, although I know some others are in that same boat, but I would not have joined the program had I not been told by Alliant representatives that it would be every third weekend. And I'm not sure if you're in connection with the people you that we call um, when we're investigating the program, but that's the information they're providing. Yes, actually, I also, I apologize, sorry, I, I agree on that point. And who is that before. who's speaking? I'm sorry. Sorry, it's okay, it's Najib Ramani. Uh, I was also told before we I started the program that it would be every third weekend, that um, that I would only need one out of every, you know, one, uh, every third weekend would be the time commitment needed for this program. And uh, that's not the case, unfortunately. Yes, and I, I you know, it is quite possible that, um, that uh, and I know that there was a time when it was every three weekends or so. I've taught in this program for about seven or eight years now, and so I know that that's always been an issue. Um, however, my situation is that we, especially in the fall, because Dr. Tackett has a very tight schedule, that he's only allowed to be available um, certain weekends. And so we've had to adjust between our faculty's availability and um, the holiday weekends when we are not allowed to teach you. We've had to, um, you know, like you said, add in uh, additional weekends up front. The other uh, restriction that I've been given in coming up with these calendars is that um, we have to be done by a certain time in in the um, winter term or the, the fall term and then in the spring term. And so we have to be done. I've got my schedule up here just so you can see how and I've let schedule is not correct. Excuse me? That schedule is not correct. What What is not correct? We are in class much longer than that on the weekends. Oh, the time. Yes, that was the original. Um, you, are you talking about nine to four? No, actual dates. We're in class September 7 and 8, 14 and 15, 28, 29, October 
five and six, then there's a two week break, then we're in class 26, 27. Then the month of November, we are in class every weekend. Granted, two of those don't include the Saturday class, but all four Sundays are class. Okay. So, um, as I said, I'm, and this, this might be an earlier version that I pulled up here. I pulled it up to show you how we, how we have to structure um, our schedules, okay? So, so the point of this, though, is that there are some weekends that I'm not allowed to give you live lectures, and then it depends on the faculty's availability, okay? So um, in the spring, for example, I, only, I cannot teach on Saturdays. I teach on two separate Sundays. Now, there's a couple of things that have come up that um, I think made this disconnect. One, th these schedules are basically um, established five or six months before the actual semester. And so um, what I'm not clear about is why you don't know about it until basically the weekend that you're starting class. That's something I just was un under the impression that our uh, student advisor or somebody was providing you that information when you register for the course or the yeah. classes. So I'm, I'm gonna work on making that better and I, I just was not aware of that. So um, that's probably on me uh, for not making sure that you had been instructed early on as to what our schedule was going to be because I completely understand that you have very busy lives. That's why we designed this program originally to just be on the weekends. Now, but it's, it's also our proctors. It, it, we're putting other people in the mix of this crazy. Yeah. Thing. Okay. So I'm going to look into tomorrow. I'm going to look into whether we can eliminate the proctors. Okay. I don't know that I can do that. I have to check with APA because our program is designated to include proctors. But if I can waive that, I'm going to. Okay, that's number one. Number two, and I, and I, know, I don't want to take up too much of Dr. Golly's time today, so I'm going to go quickly now. But um, I can set up a separate session when we all meet together to go over these things, if that helps you. Um, I'm going to leave that up to you how you want to do it. I've already arranged to talk with some of you privately, and we can do that later today or tomorrow whenever you want to talk. Okay, but for now, the other pressing issue, I think, is when you have to take the exams by. And so, here's the challenge that I have. You know, the, all those attendance notices that you get, um, those arrive because if we don't have some record of you participating in the program through Moodle or through these live lectures, then um, we don't have a record of you participating, and that's why you're getting those automatic attendance things. Now, I go in and modify it manually. That's typically what I do. Um, I was having trouble getting that in. So I don't know if you got notices today. I know a lot of you got notices yesterday. I believe that's all been corrected now. But if anybody got a notice today, because I got a couple somebody sent me, and I'm not sure if they were today or yesterday, but all of your attendance should be up to date now. Now, if somebody is not attending lectures, then you're going to get an absence, right? But um, the problem is, so you see you have two courses, right? 7918 and 7900. The attendance for 7900 has to get entered in every week for the weeks that we're actually not in those classes. And this is one of the disconnects between the old MSCP model that you're in and the current alliance requirements, okay? So, so um, you will be getting credit for attendance in these classes, okay, even the, the 7,900, even though you don't start that class until November, okay? So that's the structure of the, the, the problem, and you should not get any more of those notices. I'm in touch with the the, peop, the correct people to make sure that those don't get sent out automatically anymore. Okay, so the the other main issue I know there's a lot of problems. I'm willing to you know happy to talk to you about it. See what I can do. But I think the other big issue is the exams. And um, 
if I understand correctly, everybody would like until December 8th to have all of the exams due in this program. So I'm going to look into that tomorrow morning and see if I can just open all of your exams until the very end of the semester, which is December 8th, but know that you're going to have an exam um, that's due, I believe, on December 8th. And so um, it, it may be December 9th, but so you're going to have to either take that exam or I have to give everybody incompletes, which I can do, and then have you make it up, let's say, by the end of December. But, but that creates, you know, the headaches we've, we've got already, that creates that much more in terms of headaches and us keeping up and then having to do um, grade change forms for everybody. So it becomes a big challenge. Now, I, I see some, uh, there's one other thing that I want to mention, and that's the CEs. Now, I am in the process of getting all of your back CEs done. Um, I know that we, we had a number of changes within Alliant for the requirements. Um, it took between the Alliance CE office and my office, it took us quite a while to get all that straightened out. And it all fell right before APA. I was the president of Division 50, I am president this year, and I had a lot of things that I was not able to attend to it until I got back. I've since had a lot of other issues that I've been grappling with before the start of the term, but I am getting your CEs done. So I know that's a big concern and I want you to know that I am, I am working on that myself, okay? So, all right. I think I covered everything that I, I need to cover for now. Let's Can see. Can you give us the yeah. you said Western Association of College what? Well, well, I think it's now WASCU, so it's Western Association of Schools, Colleges, and Universities. And who is our dean? Your dean is um, Dr. Dahlia Ducker. And I was going to email you about that privately. Sorry, can you Brady. spell that, please? Yes. Uh, it's, her last name, her first name is Dahlia, D-A-L-I-A. And her last name is Ducker, D-U-C-K-E-R. Thank you. May I have an, uh, another, ask another question? Of course. Chiara uh, here. Um, so for starters, it, the attend, we need to be attending because of the CE credit, is that correct? Yes, so the CE requirements um, are for 100% attendance. Now, So if I, you don't need CE credits, why do you need to attend then? Well, Alliant also has a requirement that you attend class in order to uh, get credit for the course, and that is a WASP requirement. I see. And so then um, my other thing is, it, I don't mind the exams, but now we also have uh, papers. So we have one week, I mean, maybe now it changes, right? I don't know, but it was supposed to be that we have to take the exam in between one class and the next class because they're now back to back. Plus now we also have papers to write and so, it would be really appreciated if it at least was either or. Either write a paper or do an exam, but not have a paper and an exam. It's just not, not about not being able to do it, but it's just a lot of work. Yes, I understand. Um, and again, these were requirements that were given to me by our provost's office um, for being in compliance with WASP, that there are weekly assignments. Um, yeah, but an assignment can be a read a paper. It doesn't need to me write a paper. Well, we need something submitted. And so um, I will talk to the other faculty since Dr. Golly's uh, work is done, but sometimes you know what it is, and, and I know that some of you are instructors as well, um, but sometimes what it is is simply a paragraph or a discussion and, um, you know, it's possible that I can modify those requirements to fit more along those lines. We can um, ask, can we get like a, a, a quiz 
four times during the lecture. Not any. Well, oh, you mean during the lecture? During four times, and then yes. So so Which for the totally weekends fine. for the, just to, uh, yeah. for the weekends when you meet that satisfies that attendance requirements. It's the weeks when you don't meet that we have these additional requirements, and so. Um, so, th so that's what that issue is, that there has to be something on the weeks There's when no we're not meeting. We don't meet now. Well, There's last week you didn't meet, right? In the past, <laughs> Dr. Dr. Al Hassoun, we had read articles, for example, this is Gerilyn Datz. Yes, Gerilyn. And he had us answer questions or verify that we had read the article and then um, had this sort of dynamic approach where at the start of the next lecture he might discuss the article and what we thought and it was kind of a more didactic experience i i'm just speaking for myself one i completely missed the memo on the assignment being due because i don't normally sign in until um you know right before the course and uh, had never had an, a paper a full page paper you know, based on other articles. Not that that's not something I'm capable of, um, but from my perspective, it just, it, it's just sort of this surprise, you know, and there's, yes. no, um, it, it, it feels like that a lot. And, and I signed on a little bit late and I, I do apologize. I got delayed for a minute and um, I wanted to ask a few questions about the schedule, but I don't want to get us derailed from the right. discussion. Okay, so um, I just, uh, you should not have written assignments on the weeks that you don't, that you have class, okay? So okay, that's so number I one. Understood that also. Excuse me? Maybe then I misunderstood. I had, yeah. a, I assumed that we have a paper and an exam every week now. No, no, yeah. that's not correct. It's okay. for the weeks when you don't, don't have class, that there's something due if a paper, I mean, a, a one page paper, um, you know, we, we can, I can talk to the other faculty about what those assignments look like. I don't have a problem with that. So I want to get back to one, and, and we're taking up your class time at this point. So maybe we need to schedule a separate time that we all um, have this conversation. I know that's going to be a challenge. Um, but maybe we can meet as a small group, we can record it and then generate some more discussion. So I just want to um, get back, one of Brady's comments is you're not meeting this semester. Okay, so only on those, I think we just clarified that, that on the weekends when you don't have class is only when you have an assignment due. Okay, I do think it which schedule we are beholden to? No, no, the one, the, the, the schedule that you are following is the one that um, should be the one that you received when you registered. Now, Kirsten, are you saying there's three separate schedules? Not the one I just showed. That's not a schedule. Yeah, and, and maybe you could log into Moodle and look for yourself. Okay. So I, I will check that out. Thing. I do think it would be worthwhile to go over it. If you had a reliable copy, it would probably only take five minutes. One of the things I'm really confused about is in November, um, and, and please correct me if I'm wrong, because I've tried to verify this. It looks like we're, we're, we're meeting on the two Sundays of the 3rd and the 10th. But of not which month? November. Okay, go ahead. We're not meeting a full week. We're not meeting on the 2nd, but we're meeting on the 3rd. We're not meeting on the 9th, but we're meeting on the 10th. That has never happened before, and I, it's just confusing to and me. And that is probably just because of faculty availability. So okay. that means in but November then, we're meeting all four Sundays and two all Saturdays. All four Sundays in November and then two Saturdays. Correct. And that was my impression as well, that it was faculty availability, but I'm, I mean, you have to realize this has an enormous impact on the class as a whole, as working professionals and people with families. Yes. Like, that that's not as advertised and I, I say that with all due respect and I, I know that these things need to be accommodated but and November is is a such a critical month of the year there's holidays you know I work in healthcare. 
that's probably the worst month, you know, I'm traveling. And so I'm just, I'm not even sure. And, and other people have echoed their sentiments. I'm not going to speak for them, but it, it just seems very, um, like almost hostile. I, I know it, that's not the intention, but it, it's very anxiety provoking. Yeah. And I mean, I hear you. And it seems uh, unchangeable at this point, which is the unfortunate part. Well, yeah. And that's, that's the challenge that I have with uh, certain faculty needing to teach certain courses and their schedules. So um, I, I don't know if I have a solution to that. Um, what I can say is um, the 100% attendance is for CEs. If you're not looking for CEs, um, we then have an 80% cutoff for Alliant attendance. If any of you know in advance that there are weekends when you are not going to attend, email me. I put in a different kind of absence for you so that um, it doesn't count towards your overall attendance. So if you're not able to attend certain lectures, you have to email me, give me an explanation why you're not available, and then I will enter that in for you, okay? But Judy, what you're saying is that because we can't accommodate staff's schedule of every single weekend in a holiday month, and yet we have to pay full percent, we, we don't get everything that we're entitled to. Okay, well, that's a good point, Brady. I'm not sure how I can address that right now. Um, I hear you, um, but I'm not sure what I can do to offer you to change that. And um, yes, and I know that you want to attend class, but I don't know when to give you that class. I mean, if, you, if you're saying you want to um, extend into uh, December, is that what you're saying? I mean, then you have the holidays. Um, so I don't think, you know, so I'm just not clear when we're supposed to give you those extra weekends with the, with the constraints that I have about giving class on certain weekends when there are either state or federal holidays. I Isn't believe last cool? year they let us test well into the 20s, if I'm not mistaken, of December. I think we had class that first weekend and then maybe the tests were due right you know in the early 20s somewhere or by the end of the month and i don't know how other people responded to that but it seems to me like we're trying to cram in a lot yeah to, uh, well that's that's why what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh tomorrow i'm going to confirm that i can extend all of the due dates what that means is you'll get incompletes in both of these classes and then um you know if, if and then we'll just have to give you um, grade changes as you take the exams. And I'm willing to do that because I understand the pressures that, that this kind of scheduling is put on you. And there's one more comment that I want to respond to and that you're being treated like undergrads. And I have to address that, Arnold, because I feel you're right. that, And it's not undergrad so much as, as um, graduate school and not postdoctoral. And this is a challenge that, that we are facing as being within Alliant because Alliance requirements with WASC um, are that we meet these certain structural criteria, okay? And they don't necessarily fit a postdoctoral program like this. And that is one of the challenges that we're facing right now. Um, but you certainly want to be in a school that has accreditation. So it is a catch-22, and I think that what's happening is that in the process of the Alliant update of our program to meet WASC requirements, that postdoctoral programs like this get shifted into more rigid structures. So I am not disagreeing with that. I'm trying to do my best to accommodate you for what your needs are, um, and I know that it's bumping up against things. So, um, and I'm sorry if, all right. Including the APA. Well, what do you mean? But I still, uh, well, see that, okay. I'm just gonna respond to that. Brady, um, the, the problem is that we've told APA that you have proctored exams. We've told APA that you have this many live lectures, okay, for this many hours. And so 
by bending that in any way, then I've got to go back to APA and, and, and let them know and see if they're willing to allow us to do that. Okay, so that's, that's just another. Um, so, but APA also requires us to be present during every lecture? So, well, yeah, okay. So, APA has requirements for the CEs, okay? We have requirements. Not getting. Excuse, you are going to be getting. You are getting. Um, and then Alliant has requirements. So, Mateo, don't, I, I just pulled my schedule up as an example of how the courses are structured, okay? So, the schedule that you got from Janelle should be the correct one. Now, I'm going to go talk to Janelle tomorrow and make sure that we are giving you the, same, the correct schedule, okay? Because I didn't know that there was an issue. I'm going to email passwords over the summer. I'm sorry, Judy. Uh, that must be really frustrating for you too, with being in between everything. <laughs> well, I'm I'm doing the best I can. I don't think I'm doing a good enough job at it. Obviously, your frustration with it is just a reflection of that. Um, but I will do my best to get the answers to those things now. I really need to hand, we've, we've spent a half hour um, of your class time um, on this. I'm going to uh, send out an invitation to maybe a couple of sessions that I can offer to you on a weekend that's, that you don't have class so that we can continue that discussion. I don't want you to feel unheard. I know that that's a problem and I really have tried to address that. Um, all right. Are we still having proctors right now? Because I'm just confused over the summer with Dr. Al Hassoun. We were yeah, I didn't know about that, uh, we Geraldine, actually. I didn't know that you weren't using proctors over the summer. So um, <laughs> uh, I will get back to you on that, OK? Thank you. All right. Um, all right. So OK, so I'm going to get off of this now. Um, Jordan, I'm going to respond to your question privately. I would invite you to set up a meeting to talk with me if you want to contact Dean Ducker. I, I think that's a good idea because um, I think that your voices are the way that we can um, can make this work. Okay. Dr. Steinman, real quick with the test thing. Um, the one thing that when we started out, it was you just had like two or three weeks to complete the test after yeah. class, even though that overlapped with other ones. And that seemed to work well for me. I, I don't know. know if it worked for everyone else. So. I mean, that's what I'm gonna. Go that's what I'm gonna do, way, Jason. Even if they don't go all the way to the end of the semester, which could set people up for a lot of stress, unbeknownst to themselves. Yeah. I think what I'm gonna. Just two or three weeks. That usually. Just include one weekend that we have off, so we can study on that one weekend. Yeah. Okay. I am. Um, I'm gonna um, respond to that um, tomorrow or during, or as soon in the week as I can get the answers, but. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just open the exams, um, if, I, if I'm allowed to do this, um, and uh, let you take them when you're able, okay? Thank you. Th thanks, everyone. And um, I know some of you feel unheard, but I am here um, to talk anytime you need to do that, okay? Thank you for your time. Thank you. I'm going to leave now, but uh, you can email me and uh, schedule time if you need. Okay. Thank you, Aiden, and thank you, Dr. Gali, for the You're time. Welcome. Oh, Judy. Judy, I'm glad you were able to come in. Absolutely. Aloha. Yeah. Okay. Judy, may maybe I can try to stop the recording here instead of pausing it and see if it's going to be recorded later as a, as a separate one. I mean, I have never done it. I'll just leave it, and then um, yes. if, if you send me the zoom link for, you know you get two zoom links yeah, 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 yeah. Send, me, send them both to me and i can i can see if i can cut and paste i'll make this available to anybody who wants it but just in terms of the recording that you use for studying um you know we're going to separate this okay, okay. okay. Aloha. aloha bye bye